Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Speed Secrets. Today we're working with the cam experts over at Comp Cams. You know, today it seems like the LS guys get all the love, and for good reason. I mean, if you take an LS motor from the junkyard, swap in the cam and springs, you're gonna look like a hero. I mean, there are big gains from a cam only swap on an LS. But this got us thinking, what about the original small block? Can we get the same kind of gains from installing a cam in an original small block? To find out, we set up a test. To find out how well a small block responds to a cam swap, we went to the local wrecking yard and snatched up a small block 350. Now we purposely chose the late model Vortec headed version because those heads flow so well. That's one of the reasons that an LS application responds so well to cam timing, is because it has very good cylinder heads right from the factory. So we chose the Vortec headed version to maximize the head flow on our small block. Now that late model small block originally came fuel injected, but we purposely changed that out for carburation. We installed a four barrel intake, four barrel carburetor, and a distributor. So how well does a small block respond? Let's get that baby up on the dyno, run it stock, then swap till we drop. Up on the dyno with a stock cam. Now we had our baseline. As you can see, we've got our small block Chevy running and up on the dyno. Equipped with that factory cam, the 350 produced 278 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 353 foot-pounds of torque all the way down at 3,700 RPM. As you can tell, that mild stock cam was designed to produce torque production low in the RPM range, you know, for a truck application. Now that we've established our baseline, let's tear into this baby and swap that cam. Now the Comp Extreme Energy Grind. We also installed new lifters. And upgraded the valve springs. Out came the stock cam. Some break-in oil for added insurance. Then we installed the valve spring upgrade. Then back on the dyno with the Comp Cam. The cam offered impressive gains. Okay guys, the results are in, and as you can see, our small block Chevy responded very well to that cam swap. Equipped with a new comp cam, the power output jumped from 278 horsepower and 353 foot-pounds of torque, all the way up to 343 horsepower and 381 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, those are gains of 65 horsepower and 28 foot-pounds. It just goes to show you that the LS isn't the only small block Chevy that responds well to a cam swap. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.